Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to select data from a table in MariaDB or MySQL. So here we have a uh, different uh, databases. Uh, one of the databases is called Tech Brothers IT, and then I have other uh, different uh, databases such as uh, Skilla and uh, Word. But to go to the tables here, we have customer one, customer, and all that tables here in Tech Brothers IT, and we would like to select some data from customer table. So uh, what you need to do, you are going to open a new query. If you are using MySQL command line, that's still fine. So to select all the records with all the columns from this customer table, what you will do, you will say select asterisk from table name. So in this case, it's a customer, then use the semicolon at the end. Okay. So there could be possibilities like your table has a space between the maybe um, space between the table name and uh, that could be possible. Let's say it is uh, uh, one of the table you have is uh, 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 your department, like department underscore uh, department dash uh, uh, column. So in those cases, when you have a space between uh, the table name, what you have to use, you have to use a cute uh, around it. Um, so uh, that's what you will use. This is a sign called a cute. This is a uh, uh, on the keyboard uh, keyboard uh, where you have tilde. That's the key. key that's the uh, key. It uh, has uh, this acute. Uh, you don't have to press shift or anything. Just uh, where the tilde is. Uh, that's where this uh, acute is. You just uh, type that. Okay. So we don't have. Uh, uh, space between our column table name so we are good but still you can use it so let's run this uh, and you can see that it's returning us uh, all the records uh, from a customer table and uh, for all the columns uh, if you notice here uh, if you go back here and take a look on the columns here so I have ID customer first name last name and uh, there is a space between uh, first uh, name column uh, so if I want to select some specific column such as uh, say, oh, I would like to see only ID customer, then I would like to see the first uh, name, and then I would like to see the last name. Now I can do that. Here, once you have space between your table name, column name, or whatever, you have to use a cute around it. If I run this statement, it's not going to work. So it will fail. It will tell, uh, oh, it could not find the the um, column called first. So it's considering this part as a full column name and we don't have that and uh, that's why we have to use acute if uh, there is a space between column names or table name or any object name. Okay, so you can see that's work. Third part what I would like to tell you um, right now uh, may, whatever the column names what we have we are returning it but sometimes you need to provide this data to the customers and customer don't want this uh, the way you have a set set up the columns in uh, actual database so maybe your customer want this uh, id customer as only id so what you will say you will say as id so this is called alias uh, where you will provide as and then provide uh, the new name for this uh, field so in this case uh, we want to say id customer and when we do want to display we say id first name i would like to say as a f name so that's just for the display part and the last name i would like to say as a l name okay now we can run this statement and we should be good here and you can see that now if I see my display here, this is ID, this is first name and last name. So the, the values are actually coming from these columns, right? This is just the alias. This is just a, a display name we are given to those column values. Okay. So uh, this is uh, uh, the select is the statement you are going to use. Uh, again, uh, if you want to select all the columns, select asterisk from your table name. So in our case is customer. And then we learn... Uh, um, if you want to select uh, some columns of it, so you will say whatever the columns you want, so like ID, customer, uh, age, uh, from table. So, so you can have the list of the columns you want. And then in the last one, we also learn how to alias or rename the actual column uh, for the display part of it. Okay. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope this will help and I will see you guys in next video.